Hello students, welcome to the video of 7th General Science. Today we are going to start new chapter, chapter number 13, Changes Physical and Chemical. There are different changes taken around us. Have you seen a wood burning or a burning candle? What changes you have seen or the conversion of the milk into curd or ripening of the food? These all changes takes place around us. So let's distinguish different types of changes around us. First is the natural change. So as name indicate the changes which occur naturally such changes are called natural changes means there is a nature behind these changes. Can you tell me the examples of such natural changes? Yes, ripening of fruits or thunderstorm these are the natural changes next is the useful change the change which are beneficial to us such changes are called useful change means such type of changes are really have some benefits to us such changes we call them useful changes now example for fermentation or cooking these are the useful changes next is the harmful changes the changes which may cause harm such changes we call them harmful changes means such changes are not beneficial to us such changes we call them harmful changes now rotting of the substances or storm spoiling of milk these are the harmful changes next changes are fast or quick change as the name again indicate the changes which takes minimum time to complete such changes are called fast changes or quick change have you seen such changes around you so bursting of balloon bullet fired or bursting of crackers next is the slow change just opposite to the fast changes the changes which takes more time to complete such changes we call them slow changes rusting of iron or formation of soil ripening of fruits this takes more time to complete such changes are slow changes next is the reversible change the changes that can be occurred in a forward and reverse direction again and again are called reversible change means they can go forward and again reverse direction such changes we call them reversible changes if we put water in the refrigerator then it changes to ice and then if we heat the ice then again it changes to water means that process can be reverse also then melting of wax sugar mix in water or water vapor these are the examples of the reversible change next is the irreversible change just opposite to the reversible change the changes cannot be reversed once happened are called irreversible change if we burn the coal or paper then there is no reverse of that change we cannot reverse the change burning ripening of fruits or growth are the irreversible change next is the periodic change means these changes happen after fixed interval of time they repeatedly happen after the fixed interval maybe one minute or 30 seconds or one hour or every day or every year such changes are called periodic change examples are tides season sunrise sunset these are the examples of periodic changes next is the non periodic change it cannot be said for sure when certain changes will reoccur after one occurrence even if they reoccur at the interval is not fixed such changes are called non periodic changes means there is no surety about the repetition of these changes or they may not be repeat after some time such changes we call them non periodic changes examples are earthquake accident sneezing these are the non periodic changes now look at the images adding sugar to the water or melting of ice or bending of the metal or spoon now 
is there any formation of the new substance no so in this type of changes there is no new substance form and the properties of the substance remain as it is as no new substance is formed the properties of the original substance remain as it is suppose melting of the ice no new substance is formed properties of the water and the ice are nearly same so such changes are called physical changes and even we can separate the original substance we can reverse the change also now look at the following examples burning of the wood or a firecracker now in this changes the new substance is formed as we burn the wood coal ash and smoke is produced in such changes so the change due to which one substance transfer into another substance having new and different properties is called a chemical change as we burn the wood it changes to the ash or coal or smoke and all these substances are newly formed having the different characteristic and properties so such changes are called chemical changes you have seen the change in color of the iron object or copper object iron object become brown and the greenish substance produce on the upper layer of the copper objects so what is this this is the rusting of iron and copper when they combine with the oxygen they react with the oxygen in the air upper layer react with the oxygen and then it become weak that process is called the corrosion and corrosion makes the metal very weak